Hey guys, it's Michelle Pippen here um, for another episode of 30 Minute Marketing Moves and I appreciate you bringing me into your Sunday night business meeting to help you plan marketing and sales strategies for the week that will help you make more money in your business and become more successful in your business. Today I want to talk with you about your existing and past client base, okay? Typically the way it works is um, we hustle, hustle, hustle to get new clients and then we serve them and then we say goodbye and uh, we only show back up to them if we want to sell them something else, right? Or when a business coach or you know tells us we need to, to follow up with our past clients and see if there's still money to be had from them. Or when we're desperate for money and we're looking back through um, who we need to resell on working with us. And that is just a one-sided strategy. And so I want to encourage and equip you to do something a little different and build in follow-up into whatever you sell. What happens with that is um, your clients expect it. It's part of what they pay for, okay? And because they are expecting that of you and they believe that that's what they paid for, then you schedule it and you show up. Okay, and those follow up conversations often lead to referral business and repeat business. If you are not doing this, if you are investing time and money and effort into getting more and more clients onto a leaky ship, right, where you're letting your best clients and your good clients and your current clients and your past clients go without follow up from you, you're building a business on what I call the one night stand philosophy. And that is just not my style. So I want to equip you to build follow-up into your business. Any business can do this. A hair salon, if I choose a new color or get a whole new style, you know, that, that stylist needs to build in five minutes into her day to follow up and call that client to say, hey, you know, how is it working out for you? Do you like the new cut you chose? Do you like the new color? Do you need to come back and get something done with that? Do build in that follow up that is um, something that is expected and appreciated uh, by your client. Attorneys should do this, um, particularly divorce and custody attorneys, right? The first time you go for a custody agreement, it is not the custody agreement most often that you end up with because there's some acrimonious tension in there. And so, you know, attorneys should um, get paid to drop a custody agreement and build in follow-up, expected appointments six months later to say, hey, is this custody agreement still working or do we need to file um, for, you know, a, an alteration to that, right? Built in follow-up that is expected and appreciated. Uh, coaches and therapists should be doing this. When we have a one-time strategy session, let's go ahead and schedule the next time we're going to talk to see if this is working, if the ideas were working, if you kept your commitment to yourself, if you kept your commitment to me. You know, when you have a therapy appointment, you know, maybe there's an email check-in a week later just to say, hey, you know, let's, let's chat for five minutes and see how things are going for you. And I know what you're dealing with is really tough. So, and that's really the challenge for this week is to build in expected follow-up into everything that you sell. It doesn't matter whether it's a hair service, if it's a new makeup that you just sold someone, an exercise program. Do not sell me an exercise program and not set an appointment to meet with me for 10 minutes a month later to see if it's working, if I was doing it, because you like that. So build in some follow-up in your business and watch the number of repeat clients that you have soar. Watch those referrals come in. Test me on this. Build in some expected follow-up and you will build bigger bank deposits. Thanks and I'll see you later.